a successful person is one who fights every day against failure. If you fail, it is because you have tried to do something and it didn't work out the way you wanted. But remember, worse than failure is not having tried. I am Jose Manuel Garcia Lomas and Alan Perkins. In this video, we are going to decipher the differences, as its title indicates, between failure and success. Facing failure strengthens our character. Analyzing the history of people of great success, we discover frequently that to reach the success to which they have arrived, they had to confront on numerous occasions to the failure. But they knew how to get up after their failures. The one who does not fail is the one who did not try anything. If you fail and fail, get up. If you fail and it causes you to have a bad mood and negative thoughts, know that it will contaminate your next performance, which will probably lead you to a new failure. Therefore, accept failure as part of your training for future high achievements and draw out the lessons that failure shows you by analyzing it with a positive attitude, knowing that you are on the way. And always remember that worse than failure is not having tried. In past videos, we have talked about high-level leadership the leader who has the real authority. And we added that the lack of decision, of not deciding, was the opposite of high leadership, since you either make the decision or the circumstances do. Since either you leader lead, you choose the risk you want to take, or you are led by the circumstances and the circumstances choose for you. Do not take risk contrary to high leadership. And we added that the real authority leader develops anticipatory capacity, which is the capacity that the leader has based on his, her rational and intuitive knowledge to foresee the impact that the decisions, actions, of the present will have into the future. Therefore, we concluded that high-level leadership is the one based on decision-making in high-degree environment and that thanks to its anticipative capacity, the leader can reduce the level of uncertainty. At an esoteric level, the dynamis or virtuous spirits of movement, which mean stable courage, induce us to action, since our world is a world of action. The world of the company, the world of business, the world of professionals like us is a world of action. And this leads us to have to act to take risk accompanied by uncertainty, without being sure that our decision will end in success or failure. But even at the risk of failure, we have to be aware that based on all of the above, our professional world is a world in which we have been chosen, each of us in our position, not to stand still, but to take actions decisions always in the hope that they will be right and positive. Calvin Coolidge, president number 30 of the United States of America 1923-1929 said, nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with great talent. Genius will not. 
unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistent determination alone are nearly omnipotent. Calvin Coolidge, President number 30 of the United States, 1923-1929. Everything said in this video so far reinforces the motto we have pointed out at the beginning. Loser and success, what makes a difference? Thomas Edison is the inventor of the incandescent bulb. He carried out 1,000 tests with all types of systems looking for the solution to his incandescent bulb. Without success, attempt after attempt, up to 1,000 attempts. And when he finally succeeded, he said, it wasn't a thousand failed attempts, it was a thousand step invention. These were Edison's words when he told the world about the process by which he had managed to create the heavy duty incandescent bulb. Okay, and if you are interested in our videos, I suggest you give a like and subscribe to our channels in English and Spanish since we publish videos every week.